Hey guys, welcome back to Shortcrest to Success, where I, Randy Vieru, share with you how to achieve professional baker's recipes. Today's recipe is going to be for a kakla. Now you might wonder, what is a kakla? So have you ever looked at a shoe puff or an eclair and it has that texture, kind of like a desert sandy topping to it? That is what a kakla is. It's this crispy coating that is added on top of your unbaked shoe puff before you put it into the oven and it just melts and shapes right on top of your eclair or shoe puff and it makes this crispy topping that is so delicious and sweet and that pairs very well with your eclair batter and the filling that you choose. So if this is something that you're interested in, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new recipes that I post. Without further ado, here are the ingredients and the recipe to follow. I'm going to start by combining my sugar and butter. You could do this with a whisk or with a spatula. And here I am using raw sugar or sugar in the raw or turbinado sugar. A lot of the recipes that you'll see online will say that they're using brown sugar. And that's really just a translation from French to English. This is not supposed to be brown sugar. It's actually supposed to be raw sugar, larger crystals that will keep that crunch. All right, now that my sugar and butter are combined i'm going to sift on my flour and i'm going to fold in the flour with the butter and sugar at this point some people put a pinch of salt but i prefer not to but you're more than welcome to do so and this could be done in the stand mixer all you have to do is just combine all three ingredients and you can paddle it until you have a ball or a homogeneous consistency. You always wanna make sure to scrape the bottom in case you have some ingredients that are not combined. So here we have our ball. We're going to be rolling it in between two sheets of parchment paper. While you're rolling, if the paper folds or something like that, you want to just lift it a little bit so that you can roll out those folds or else you're going to have thicker portions of the kakna. So you wanna make sure that your kakna is nice and flat. You want it to be thin enough that it bakes properly but not burn on top of the shoe puff, but you don't want it to be too thick or else the butter will just melt and also burn. And it'll be too heavy on top of your shoe and it will inhibit it from rising. So you don't want that. So two millimeters is the perfect middle point for your thickness. Once we have our desired thickness, we're going to put it on the tray and keep, to keep it flat. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator for a good half hour, or you could put it in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes. You want it to be hard enough so that you can cut out your shapes but not too hard that it'll break when you're doing so. My kakla has been resting for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. So I just remove the top layer and I have three eclairs and eight shoe puffs. I'm just gonna cut out my shapes for my eclairs. And here I'm actually using this tart shell which works perfectly on top of these eclairs. And I'm just pressing down I'm going to place it on top of my eclair just like so. So it is a bit too warm. So I'm actually just going to shape and I'm going to pop it back into the refrigerator and then I'm going to place it on top of my shoe puff. So this is the size that I'm going to use. It is exactly two inches. So I'm going to do a two inch on top of these shoe puffs. So I'm going to cover it back and put it back into the refrigerator for a good 10 minutes and then I'll take it out. While I put it in the refrigerator, I'm also going to pop this into the refrigerator. That way the butter in this one does not melt. All right, so what I did is I flipped over my sheet. That way it'll be easier to grab the pieces of kakla. I'm going to start with my circles. You just wanna place them right on top and you do want to work quickly. I had them in the refrigerator for an additional 
15 minutes. And as you can see, they're already getting softer. I'm actually gonna show you guys what it looks like when your circle is too small, what it does to the shoe puff, and then I'll show you one without any kaklan on it. So here you have it, it's looking a little rough, but do not worry, just make sure that you're nice and centered on your shoe puff. It's, it is pretty warm in my house, so that's why you see that some of them are kind of just draping the shoe puffs and the eclair but i have my kakla on top of my shoe puffs and my eclairs and then i wanted to show you guys here we have like a smaller one and then here we have a shoe puff without any kakla on top so that you can see the difference between all of them so i'm actually going to pop this into the freezer and i'm going to preset my oven at 375 degrees fahrenheit so here for my leftovers I'm just going to put it all back together and place it back in between my parchment sheets. And I'm just going to roll it back down to my two millimeter thickness. And then I'm going to pop it back into the refrigerator. My oven is ready to go. So I'm just going to pop this for about 40 minutes into my 375 degrees oven. I'm going to check it once it's nice and brown. I'm going to turn off my oven and leave it in the oven for about 15 extra minutes before I take it out. Here we have the final products and I just wanted to show you guys the difference between one that does not have the kakla on top and then the one that had just a little bit on it on there. So you can see the difference between the top and the rest of the shoe puff. And this is one that had the kakla all around. And you can see how covered it is and how smooth it is from the top where the kakla was. And these are the eclairs. There you have it guys, a great recipe for kakla. This is so simple, equal part sugar, butter, flour. It is so easy to accomplish. Just follow the steps that I've given you and you will thank me later. With this recipe, you can add a little tweaks to it. You can add a pinch of salt or you could even add a flavoring depending on the, what filling you're going to have. If you're going to be making something like a lemon meringue eclair, you could add some lemon zest to it. If you want to make something a little bit more subtle, you could add some vanilla. Vanilla pairs well with a lot of things. You could do cinnamon. So it is up to you if you want to flavor your kakla. This recipe is a good amount and with the kakla, once you're done cutting out the shapes and everything, you can always put it back together, roll it back down to your two millimeters and put it back in the refrigerator. So in the case that you've used up your batter and you have some kakla left, you can roll it out, put it in the refrigerator, cut out the shapes that you're going to be using next time. Maybe you want to do some shoe puffs or eclairs, just cut out your rectangles or your circles and you can put them on parchment sheets into the freezer and it can stay for a couple months. That way the next time when you're making your shoe puffs or eclairs, all you have to do is just pull that out and then place it on top of your eclair or shoe puffs and you're ready to go. They can go into the oven at 375 degrees for about 40 minutes and then you turn off your oven and leave it for about 15 minutes before you can take it out and fill them however you want. And that's what the best part of this thing is, is that you can use it up until you pretty much have nothing left. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like it. If you're going to recreate it, please make sure to at me on Instagram at success. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.